In this video, we're going to take a look at Emboss with Wrapped Image and some of the new enhancements that have been made for this release. The first thing that we have done is added the ability to create a new piece. Users of Freeform who have ever tried to emboss something and have it sit on top of another object and want it separate know the workflow is a little bit challenging. It involves keeping a copy of your original, usually doing the emboss on a duplicate, following up with a Boolean remove. There's a lot to remember, and if you don't do it all in the right steps, you often have to undo and start from the beginning. Now, you can select your curves, define your pattern, And choose the level of resolution you'd like your new piece to be. And everything is already done for you. Now we have an emboss that is a brand new piece on top of the existing. I'm going to undo that because there's another pain point that many users have encountered, and this has to do with embossing through thin objects. So, if I turn on transparency for the shell of this mouse, you can see that it's hollow and the top is just a thin cover that is going to rest on top of this model. Begin by selecting my curves and selecting my pattern. I'm going to change my pattern this time. And we are going to choose lower. And I'm going to lower through this model because I want this to perforate and cut through this model. You can see that the backside has now gone all the way through and we see the new clay that would be generated because my emboss is thicker than the part itself. And when I click apply, actually I'm going to turn off create a new piece because I want this to affect the active piece. The pattern is embossed, but we get the clay that pokes through the back side. When you don't have another piece of clay that this is up against, trying to remove this can be very challenging. So what we have now done I will start again by selecting my curves, clicking inside to set my seed point and define my pattern. We added the option called Constrain to Clay. What this does is basically creates, or actually it restricts the clay operation as it completes to only the bounds of the original clay. So anything that is not within the volume of that original clay will not be created. So when I click apply, we get a clean, perfect perforation through this thin piece. And of course, because this model is symmetric, I can mirror it. And now we have beautiful ventilation holes for the top of this mouse. This is going to save a lot of steps and a lot of frustration, and it will only affect when you're going lower and through a thin piece of clay. If this is turned on and you're raising above the clay, it will not take effect. If you are going lower but not going through clay, it will not change the result from the previous releases. This will only make a difference in the case similar to what I've shown here, where it is thin, or at least the lower is going through the backside of the model.